So my inspiration for today's art project is this icy waterfall. I really want to try and channel that feeling of water flowing down the mountain and the ice and the cool, crisp air. So in an attempt to create the winter waterfall, I have covered this tile with this tealy gray green, which I think is going to provide a bit of a base for my other colors to go on top. Now in my last one, I found I didn't have quite enough paint, so I better be careful not to go overboard with too much paint on this one. All right, so I got that covered. And now the waterfall. Colors I'm using are a bit different. I mixed, I've mixed colors here. So I've mixed this really dark, dark blue because I'm thinking a dark blue at the very base of my waterfall is going to help create some of that depth that you get at the base of the waterfall. So I'm going to put that in there. And then dark green. And again, this isn't quite as deep as the green, but what I've done is I've added some black to some of my paints to make it really nice and dark because I want some dark, dark foresty green. And I put a bit of glitter in there as well. I don't actually add glitter to my paint. I use glitter paint. I love glitter paint. And then I've got a lighter blue hoping all these colors come through. And then a really light green, that light foresty green. I'm going to put some of that on top. And some gold. That light green is very close to the color of my background. I've used some of the same paint in that. I kind of like mixing the paints. But the star of the show in a winter waterfall, of course, is the white. So this is what creates all that ice and really creates a lot of sound when the water is running down because you get all this frozen bits. So I'm going to do a lot of white in the center and then I'm going to do some swiping here. So I'm just taking one of my straight edges. That one's not straight enough. And I'm going to swipe these colors out like the waterfall coming down. This is the top up here, and then the water is just flowing down. And then all those colors that are underneath should reveal themselves. I definitely have a lot of paint on this one. Probably too much because <laughs> I think what's going to happen here is a lot of my paint is going to end up flowing off the side. Either that or we could get big clumps. The thing about swiping is you can just swipe the paint right off the side of the of the canvas, or in this case, the tile. Oh, yeah. So my lesson of the day in my winter icy stream 
was use enough paint and my lesson of the day for this one is definitely going to be, have to be don't use too much paint. Having said that, I need more white because I ended up swiping a lot of my white away because I really want the star of the show here to be the star and there's not enough white for it to be the star here. So I'm going to put a stripe of white down one side of the stream and, or one side of the waterfall and down the other side of the waterfall. And then just do some mini swipes out from that so I don't lose all my white. All right, I think this is working really well. Now the other thing I'm going to do is tilt this because the water is flowing, in my mind, flowing from here to here. So I think I'm just going to tilt it on an ang diagonal here and let the paint run a bit. So you get some of that running feeling. Wow. I think this is definitely, maybe not quite what I expected, but it's certainly looking very interesting, like some exploding water, which is what you see when you go to see a waterfall. All right, so I think I'll let that sit for a bit and see what happens. So I am really loving what's happening in this painting. It really feels to me like a waterfall coming down in the middle of the icy forest because you have all this white that looks like ice and foaming water as it splashes down the waterfall. And uh, so what I've decided to do, I have all of these white bubbles that are happening here. And I think to embellish those, I'm going to look for pieces of brown sea glass so that it looks like the white water is flowing down over the rocks. So I'm going to emphasize the sides of the waterfall with sea glass. And I think that will really add, to, add some texture and add some interest to this piece. Now you might be thinking, Jackie, you are a beach person and you're taking us to the forest. This is not typical for what you would see me do. But you know, we live in, I live in an area of the world where we get winter and I really do miss getting to the beach, but I figure I might as well embrace winter. So I get out to the out to the forest and I try to embrace the snow as much as I can. And being in the woods and seeing all of this is really helping. So embrace the winter if you can. So I'm going to fuss with this for a bit. I'm going to look for brown pieces of sea glass that kind of mirror all of these circles that I have. I'm going to have to search through my brown to see if I can get pieces that 
fit nicely and I'll get back to you and show you how this ends up. So I'm really happy with the addition of the brown sea glass on this painting. I think it really gives you the feeling of the water rushing down over the rocks. It adds another layer of dimension and interest to this quite interesting painting. And in my mind, it does really capture the feeling of the frozen waterfall in the middle of the winter. So I really hope you enjoyed this project and until next time, I hope you make it out to the beach and happy sea glass hunting.